Miami was 10-0. It was playing its final game of the regular season at noon the day after Thanksgiving. Its opponent wasn't good enough to qualify for a bowl game. The outcome would necessarily put its biggest goals out of reach. Friday's meeting between the number 2 Hurricanes and Pittsburgh at Heinz Field had all the trappings of a trap game. Miami did not survive it, instead suffering the outcome Panthers head coach Pat Narduzzi predicted in an interview played at halftime of the ABC broadcast. The Hurricanes fell to the Panthers, 24-14, for their first loss in 391 days. Miami's most recent defeat before Saturday came at Notre Dame on October 29 of last season. Like last week's home meeting against a different, inferior conference opponent, Virginia, the Hurricanes failed to seize control early on. They punted twice, managed only 108 yards to Pittsburgh's 175, rushed 1.9 yards per attempt, converted two of six third downs and produced one scoring drive to go into halftime down 10-7. Miami couldn't get its offense going after the break. All four of the Hurricanes' drives that began in the third quarter ended in punts, and the Panthers extended their lead to 17-7 with about two minutes left in the frame by delivering a nine-play, 65-yard drive, capped by a five-yard touchdown pass to running back Kadri Allison. With starting quarterback Molly Crozier having completed only 12 of his 30 pass attempts for 129 yards, Miami brought in redshirt sophomore backup Evan Scherf's early in the fourth quarter. The Hurricanes went three and out on Scherf's first series, and after gaining possession, Pitt capitalized on the chance to churn out a clock-eating drive. By the time the Hurricanes saw the ball again, it was too late. Rosier re-entered to connect with senior Braxton Berrios on a pair of passes, the second of which went for a 39-yard touchdown, and Miami kept alive whatever faint possibility of a last gasp when existed by recovering the ensuing onside kick. But a strip sack of Rosier crushed the Hurricanes' comeback bid. The most concerning aspect of this loss was Miami's utter inability to consistently move the ball. The Panthers entered Saturday ranked 83rd defensively according to Football Outsiders S&P Plus rankings, and they yielded 34 and 20 points in losses to North Carolina and Virginia Tech, respectively, the previous two weeks. Rosier played arguably his worst game of the season, and Miami couldn't offset its ineffectiveness.